Before we get into this video, I just want to say sorry in advance for the crappy audio. I forgot to turn my ceiling fan off, so you'll be hearing a nice fan noise for the whole entire video. Enjoy. Hola YouTube, me llamo es Marcus y estoy es lunes de es motivación. Nah, I'll just play. What's up everyone? Marcus coming at you with another Motivational Monday. But before we get into this Motivational Monday, I have some big and exciting news to bring to you guys. You guys just can't say that God's not good. He's so good. He's amazing. I mean, I've barely been doing this YouTube thing for less than two months, and I've already had um, this great app come in contact with me called uh, Promo or Promoting Motivation, and they've actually featured one of my speeches uh, on their app. Uh, I went ahead and made a nice little motivational speech for them, and you guys should definitely go check it out. I'm going to have links in the description. I'm probably going to put a link somewhere around here. But you guys should definitely go check it out. They have a great message. They really just want to promote motivation. That's exactly what the title of the uh, what their name stands for. But you guys should definitely go check them out. Uh, it's just all around just great people that uh, work there. And uh, just go check it out, you guys. And now, let's get into this week's topic. And in this week's topic, we're going to talk about perseverance and just fighting through all the crap throughout your daily lives. No, that sounds like you have a crappy life. <laughs> no. And in this week's topic, we're going to talk about perseverance and just fighting through all the crappy stuff that just kind of happens in life. So we all have goals in life. Yeah, you. I'm talking to you. You, you got them goals. But with all the crap of just daily life and people putting you down and work and school and just never really seeming to have enough time, it can be kind of hard to stay on top of those goals and really push to achieve them. With that being said, that's why it's so important to plan out your day so that you can set aside time to figure out how to achieve those goals. For example, in my life, I set aside six hours to knock out three things. And those three things are going to the gym, getting my homework done, and making these awesome YouTube videos. Now in those six hours, that's the time where I go after my goals. Right now, I'm trying to get through. I'm trying to get through college. That's one of my goals. I'm trying to become a personal trainer and also get my body into just the best shape that I can have that be. That's another goal. And I'm really trying to make this YouTube thing work out. And I'm really just trying to help grow and promote this uh, positive vibe and like motivation towards people. Also while helping people with fitness, that's what I'm pushing for with this YouTube channel, and that's my third goal. So those are the three things that I set aside six hours of every single day for. Now, there's certain days where it doesn't take me six hours. Okay, that's when I can rest. But most days it takes me six hours or maybe even a little bit more. But that's the kind of, like, that's the kind of work and dedication that you have to have so that you can see your goals come true and come to fruition. Now, trust me, I know. Not everyone has six hours to kill in a day, but trust me, everyone has a one extra episode of Orange is the New Black or House of Cards that they can cut out of their life so that they can go and get after their goals and fight through all the distractions and crap that just happens throughout your normal day. This is the mindset that you have to have. So every day I have three separate days. My first day is my work day. Everything that happens from the hours of 9 until 3, that is work. I, everything that happens at work stays there. At 3.01, my work day is done, and everything that happened, no matter what craziness happened, or if I had the best day or the worst day, that stays there. I do not let whatever happened at my work affect me. I just leave it at work. Second day is my school day. Everything that happens from either 6 o'clock until about 10 o'clock or from 7 o'clock to 10 o'clock, that is my school day. I do not let anything that happened at work affect my school day. I go in there acting like I just woke up and I went straight to school. I have a clear mind. I don't let anything bother me. I just stay focused, learn the lesson, get right down any homework or take any notes that I have to, and then that's that. That's what happens at school. And then last but not least, my third day is my goal getting day. So that's where I go and that's where I'm doing my homework. That's where I'm going to the gym and that's where I'm making these YouTube videos and that's where I'm doing anything else that's going to help move me in the direction that I want to go in life. So I do not let 
Anything that happened in my work day or anything that happened in my school day affect that. Those are two completely separate days that kind of get like two completely, not completely different, but just like different mindsets of myself. So like at work, I don't have the same mindset at work that I do like when I'm at the gym. It just wouldn't really work together. Same with school. I don't have the same mindset at work that I do at school. So they're all, they all three require three different mindsets. So that's why I separate them that way so that they don't get mixed together and that I can really just give the best that I can give at each different, in each different life. So don't let that stuff that happened at work keep you down. Once you leave work, it's there. It's left at work. You, you don't bring your work back home with you. Your boss doesn't come back home with you. And, or, I mean, hey, I'm not saying anything. <laughs> but your boss does not come home with you. Your coworkers don't come home with you. They're left at home. They're left at work, I mean. And once you get home, that's where you have your solace and your... That's where you can just calm down and come down and just relax. So the main lesson of this video is to break up your day into like three different or however many things that you might have in your life. To just break them up into different sections of your day. So don't let, don't let things that happened at work affect you while you're, say you're an artist, don't let them affect you while you're painting because that's going to affect your painting. Keep those things separate because that's just going to help you just move along through the day without letting unneeded anger or sadness or whatever affect your other the other parts of your day uber everywhere ah. all right guys i hope that you guys liked this video if you did be sure to leave this video a like also comment down below also go check out that website promo promoting motivation now again i'm having links in the bio Go check them out. They have, they're starting something really big and really positive. I want you guys to go check that out. Also, don't forget to subscribe, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Deuces!